February 22nd, 2004. Jesus. I am with you, dear sinners. It is for you I came the first time, and it is for you I return. My mercy knows no limits, and this limitless mercy is being poured out upon your world. Let it flow through you. You must also encourage others to come back to me. That is your mission. I want you to be reconciled with me. I want you to feel my peace and then extend my peace to others. You will know my joy, dear soul, and then you will spread my joy. Receive these words as the great gift they are and welcome them for what they will bring to you. They will bring you heaven if you allow them to work in your soul. I have only positive designs on you. Your time here on earth, when you are temporarily exiled from heaven, is the time for you to serve the kingdom of God. This kingdom is incomplete without your service and souls whom you are destined to bring to me might be left. I compensate for the failures of my children on earth, of course, or too many would be left unloved during this time, but I need your service. When the end of earthly time comes, far into the future, then all will be complete and completed in heaven. For now we must struggle we must grow in size, and we must persevere. I love you. I have forgiven you everything you have ever done against me or against yourself. You are welcome in my arms, and there is a place in my heart for you. If you make the smallest movement toward me, you will see me act with great speed to pull you back into the safety of your Christian family. My child, will you answer your Jesus? It is my voice you hear calling out your name. Come to me now. You will look back on your life someday and you will see this moment as very important for your eternity. Do not hesitate. Your time is over and mine has begun fear nothing. Accept my joy and accept my light. In all quietness, turn your eyes to mine.